Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, welcome to another mod review, this time on Wither Utilities. The mod simply adds in blocks that are indestructible to Wither Blasts, as well as a few tools. As you can see, tools here, which we'll get into, and we'll just cover the compressed matter first. So obviously they're supposed to be unbreakable for a Wither, made with obsidian nether star, and I assume are equivalent in blast resistance to a block of bedrock. Um, so yeah, except that they're obviously able to be acquired in survival. So we do this with the wither, we will go out of here and spectator just to see. And you can see obviously the design looks pretty interestingly different. Slightly transparent, slightly interesting design. They haven't blown anything up, I think. They obviously escaped because of the, you know, space that I've put up here. Uh, is, you know, very confined, so they can easily escape. But uh, other than that, no destruction. Obviously, there was peer after they escaped, but it still prevents Wither Blasts, pretty much. Go to, uh, I guess, Survival, shouldn't have done it from that height. And, uh, we don't need anything else, but yeah. I don't know if we need a... I don't need to pick to break these, either. They are breakable, good. I wasn't sure. It, might, it would make sense, because it's Survival Access, so cool. But, uh... Breaks into eight obsidian, similar to an ender chest. Good to know. Um, we'll try silk touch as well, which is obviously important to test. I'm gonna get these back as intended. You know, if you misplaced one or something, just let the weather do its thing, not that fast. And we do get it back. Cool. Alright, so we'll do this because we don't. The wither, and we've got these. So the ingot is made with um, compressed matter, but obviously you need to smelt it. You can use these ingots for any of the tools and the sword here. So, pick, which does a 3x3 area of anything, I assume. So this doesn't matter whether it's, I assume, ores, stone, anything. You can just do it. Possibly even the matter I have here. I don't know if it's any faster than diamond. I think it's probably about the same. You can see the particle effects on the blocks there. That easily allows you to break these. Again, obviously, silk touch very useful. Or if you want obsidian back, then um, you have the ability to get a ton of it there. 2000 durability on that. Uh, we'll try obsidian itself. Obviously, we know we can break that, but what's obsidian like itself if you wanted to harvest a ton of it? Or I guess diamonds as well, because we already know it's capable of breaking that, so there's not really much need to go off too much, but for like general ores, pretty easy. 13 out of the 9s. So does that have fortune as well? Interesting. Because I put 9 down. Okay. Maybe it gives fortune to ores. So I don't know if there's really any need to add enchantments to it, because I don't think it will increase it, or it might do otherwise. It doesn't do obsidian, apparently. And I wasn't sneaking while doing it, so it's interesting. Uh, forge from the stars here. This is just a faster one. I mean, if the pickaxe can do everything 3x3, three three, then not really much point, I guess, in the shovel. Um, though a 3x3 three three shovel would always be nice. Uh, we've got the axe, which I assume fells trees. Nope, just a fast axe, pretty much. Fair enough. Uh, it does a bit of damage to enemies, mobs, and a little more than that, which makes sense. I am also expect it in, um, later, uh, I forget, changes. Um, and 12 damage there, so giving the wither effect to mobs. Um, let's see, what do we got here? I guess a cow for testing. Let's see, how long do you survive? Interesting. Okay, not bad. Obviously they have a certain amount of health, depending on how I hit them. It means they stayed around for a while, but anyway. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye!